consider him. I keep thinking someone's gonna barge through the door at any moment. The scotch probably didn't help. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? My name is Alex Satorius. Dr. Alex Satorius. And this, uh, well, I suppose this is my confession. Twenty years ago, I went into business with my friend and business partner, Simon Stagg. Oh, it, it feels strange talking into this thing. I've never been one for the limelight. Never cared for attention. He was the businessman. I was the scientist. Stag Enterprises was a fine name by me. And we did fine work, too. I want you to remember that. Whatever comes out. The cure for the Tugela virus. That was us. The treatment for Collier Syndrome. That was us, too. No. Not us. That was me. I never cared about the financials. Of course, I never needed to. Don't you worry, Alex, Simon used to say, and I believed him. Believed him right up to the day he told me there was a big, gaping hole where next year's budget was supposed to be. I wonder now, of course, if he was lying. I mean, can you blame me? If, if you just come out and ask me, I'd probably have said no. I, I, I'm no bleeding heart, but if there'd been no need. So, sorry, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? These anti-anxiety meds, they, 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 they rattle your brain. What I'm trying to say is that day, the day we ran out of money, that's when the weapons contracts began. Hello? <laughs> yes, yes, hello. I am in a better mood today. I've discovered a pharmaceutical cure for paranoia, you see. You put the anti-anxiety pill straight into the whiskey bottle and you swirl it around. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Chemical weapons. Biological weapons. Oh, wonderful things. We went into business to save people, but it turns out that killing them paid better. Not well enough for Simon, though. That greedy, grasping parasite, that bastard! There, there, there are many buyers for this stuff, you see. They're not, not legal buyers, anyway, so you had to be competitive. But how can you do research quickly when human testing is illegal? Not to mention life-threateningly dangerous, unethical, unfathomably risky. Well, well... It's obvious. You do human testing anyway. <laughs> he, he never he never told me where they came from. Just that no one would miss them. You think I want forgiveness? You, you think this is some desperate mea culpa? I was raised Catholic, but I chose science over faith. This is not about me, this pathetic, drunken confession. I struck my bargain, let him threaten me into silence while I worked on my vaccines, my cures. So don't judge me, whoever you are. Whichever junior reporter at the Gotham Herald was lucky enough to press the play button on this device, no! This isn't about me. This is about him. He's gotten worse. We're a pharmaceutical company in name alone these days. It's all weapons, some to the army, even more to the people the army's fighting. And now Scarecrow's here? I know what they're doing. They're taking my technology, my mass inoculation device, and they're turning it into something twisted, something wrong. Well, I won't let that happen. I won't turn a blind eye anymore. This confession will be my epitaph. The proof that I was not content to weigh the good I've done against the evil done by him anymore. If you were listening to this, Dr. Sartorius, Mr. Stagg would like a word. 